Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Hope you are having a fantastic day. We got a good one on the books today. We are going to be seeing our first 2021 Bronco. Surprisingly, it's local to me. It's in the orange color. I had a chance at possibly buying it at MSRP, but given what I already have in the driveway, the math and the numbers didn't work. There's a huge following behind the Bronco too, so it would have been great for the channel, but someday in the future, I'll probably look into building a Bronco but I am really excited. I've been looking forward to seeing the Bronco in person for quite some time, and I think it would be a really, really great fit somewhere in this driveway. So with that said, let's head over to the dealership. Just like that, she is here. This is a 2021 Bronco. This is a sold order, so unfortunately, no chance at buying it, but someday in the future, I think we'll have a Bronco on the channel. Just look at the build. The content on this stuff is insane so i mean if you're really looking to start a youtube channel and you can get your hands on a bronco there's a strong following behind the bronco a lot of people that want to know what it is how it works that it's just new and it's, it's special it looks really good it gets a lot of attention camera does not do this color justice this orange is gorgeous It's amazing to think what you get for the price. This thing is stickering at $52,000. $52,000 buys you something really, really cool, unique, and special. I imagine these are the 33s. Again, I'm not too familiar with the Bronco, so don't take this as a formal review. But again, this camera does not do this orange any justice. Huge fan of the front end. I like the retro design with the circle lights. The grill looks absolutely fantastic. It has the white Bronco lettering. I'm not sure if that's an option or if it comes that way, but it, the contrast looks really, really good. Just look at it. I love that the mirrors are on the uh, not on the door, so when you take the doors off, you don't have to worry about mirrors. They have this demo soft top, which I was able to get inside of. I'm going to test drive this, but I might not be able to film it. Damn, this looks absolutely amazing. I love the bars that are body color on the back. It's very simple design. And just look at this interior. Like, oh man, this looks gorgeous. Let's give you a nice little grab handle. Nice solid door close. Oh yeah. Kill that so I don't get any monetization issues, but full-size LED display. The, the screen is massive. This interior is really nice. I love that you get those toggle switches from the Raptor. Absolutely insane. I don't know where the window controls are. Oh, they're over here. Really nice, comfortable seats. I'm surprised how comfortable this car is. All right, not gonna lie, the lease is amazing as always. I'm actually gonna order this. I think the next video after this is gonna be the spec that I order because I'm blown away. Oh, start stop technology. This is pretty cool. I mean, look at this interior, this, it's, ah. Oh. I mean, that was a quarter throttle and this thing moves. It's, it's very, very good on power. And this is the 2.3 liter four cylinder. So, I mean, for a four cylinder, it's pretty amazing to think what you get for power out of this. This just looks so cool. I can tell you right now, this gets the amount of head turns and attention that the uh, C8 gets. Like definitely this gets more head turns. Every car that's driving by is turning and looking way more than the TRX because it's so unique. The TRX looks like a rebel on steroids. Well, this is its own identity. And even the view from in here as the driver is, it's a very commanding view. You sit very high. This takes corners really, really well too, which is what's the, what is the most impressive. And I'm sure there's modes in here and stuff that you can switch to, but again, like I said, guys, I'm not too familiar with the Bronco, but I can almost near guarantee that we're probably going to be placing an order in the next like couple days or maybe a week or two. I need to figure out what spec I want. 
and how to make the numbers work, but I'm, I'm very impressed. So this is their demo car, which is why I was able to drive it. The hard top one was the sold one. So this is a soft top. I love the vantage point, no blind spots, it, it turns really well, it takes corners really well, acceleration's really good. One touch windows on both the front and passenger and driver, it does not, oh, one touch windows on the second row as well, which is pretty insane. So you get one touch windows all the way around. The TRX at $90,000 doesn't even have that. So here, this is what we'll do. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. If there is an outstanding majority of people that think that I should get, where's this guy going? If enough people think that I should get the Bronco, I think I will because I, again, I'm very impressed. I think this actually is a very well put together off-road capable SUV. Again, I won't be the first to get it. If I ordered it now, I'll probably get one towards the end of the calendar year. Oh no, it's gonna start raining. Stop it. Let me enjoy the Bronco. So if you guys look here, there's a nice little like circle screw thing where you can actually put in attachments. You can mount your GoPro there for some really good POV off-road footage. You get all your differential and kind of, you know, terrain management controls here. You can obviously get your upfitter switches up here. I don't know where it is to shut off the um, auto start stop. It probably isn't a thing, but I'd love to be able to turn that off. Let's never get used to that. Really nice controls. The buttons feel really good. There's a nice blend of hard plastics and soft touch material, this kind of textured rubber up here. It all just makes for a really, really good interior. Nice grab handle for the passenger. You get a grab handle here to pull in. Same thing with another grab handle over there because the, essentially these doors come off. I'm actually very surprised with this screen as well. I am a huge fan of Ford's infotainment system. Ford Connect is the best app out of all the manufacturers, hands down, no question. Ooh, look at that little tiny toy car. That's pretty cool. But everything that this is right now, the fit, the finish, the material, the quality, everything that you're getting, the uniqueness, and most importantly, the value hold, people that get this within the first year or two are gonna get great return if they try to trade in for something else a couple years down the line. And so I'm hooked. I, I, I really think I want one. Um, I kind of regret not ordering one early. It would have been great to make content on the channel with. Not a very formal review. Again, I'm not a YouTube reviewer there. Doug Demira is like obviously gonna get his hands on one of these really soon here. I think Rady's Rides has a couple videos out as well. So you can check out a more formal review, the ins and outs. But as it sits, this truck is just fantastic. I call it a truck, but you know, it's an off-road SUV and it, it's really good. The seats have such nice soft touch material. At the same time, I think keeping them clean, washing them is gonna be really good. Surprisingly, the brakes also feel really, really good. I, I have no complaints with the brakes. I think they do a great job of stopping this vehicle. I imagine this is pretty heavy. Again, don't know exactly what the weight is, but I imagine it's comparable to say the Jeep Wrangler and I've driven Jeep Wranglers you know, multiple times, newer ones, and no question, this is a better overall braking experience as well. But I'm, I'm surprised that the four cylinder is actually as peppy as it is. This thing's got some kick in its step. Overall, it's really comfortable in the second row as well. You could comfortably see three adults back here. You do have a little bit of a drivetrain hump, which is to be expected. I love how it says no step. You're not supposed to put your foot on this thing. But I'm sitting behind myself and I like to have the seat as far back as it possibly can go. So this is a tremendous amount of leg room. Really like the ability to be able to hook stuff on here for all the off-roading crowd, really rugged. 
just really comfortable and tons of headroom. I mean, it's it's amazing how much higher than the um, the roof bar line that the actual top sits. And then overall, not too heavy of a rear or gate. Um, I like that this has a locking box here. I'm not sure if this is factory or aftermarket, but some bags. So this looks like some luggage accessories that this comes with. So overall, an absolutely fantastic SUV. I am definitely going to be ordering one really soon. And if you think I should buy a Bronco, let me know in the comment section below. I do believe that I'm going to be placing an order here in the next probably week or two with the dealership that let me test drive this. Amazing people, super friendly. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you have not already, definitely hit that subscribe button for a ton of amazing content on the channel. And as always, until the very next video, I will see you all in the comment section below.